What are the long-term implications for those children? If we do not do for them what they need to be done to get quality, affordable childcare during and post COVID. To me, I think the long-term implications are not just to the children, but to our communities and society as a whole. I think what COVID reminded us and magnified is how, how, in, uh, how the existing inequalities right, and, and is, is, is magnified by these outside stress. So if we don't invest in early childhood, what that would happen, right, is not a, that uh, it's not only that impacts the children, it impacts the families who, whose ability to work, right, who, whose ability to balance making a living and supporting their children is compromised. And, and, it impacts, and impacts the community. Impacts the community, but it also impacts employers, too. How right? so? In this, well, the, the ability for families to work, the ability for family to not continuously worrying and stressing about juggling between work and family impacts the commitment and the productivity of people at work, which then impacts the outcomes for employment. So what we are doing, right, by failing to demand better and do better for the early childhood sector, we're going to not only maintain, but we're going to exacerbate right. the inequalities, which has been fundamentally the challenge that we're experiencing under this global pandemic.